Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Lucy Dreaming. We're looking for the long lost uh, cassette tape of the interview from the Fig Murders and we think it's probably going to be in the charity shop but we also need to find something that will help us uh, get what I'm guessing is the family tree out of this priceless vase. Not really sure what we're going to use for that just yet but this cassette tape could be uh, the way to go for now I think. Um, what can you tell me about the box by the window? What can you tell me about the box before. by the window? It's full of home recordings of the chart show on cassette. Right, so that's the what lady we want. bought them in. They belonged to her ex-husband. They're not bad. I've been listening to them in my spare time. Anything interesting on them? Not yet, but there are tons of them to get through. Okay, fine. Bye. See ya. Let's have a look at that. The chart show. It's crammed with cassettes, all dated individually. The lady bought them in a few weeks ago. Apparently, her ex-husband used to record music off a local radio show every week for years. Never paid for music in his life. <laughs> she tried to give us his hi-fi too, but the pause button was completely worn out. <laughs> so I've been listening to them on my Talkman instead. No prizes for guessing who these belong to. Yeah. Hmm. The police chief was looking for a cassette to record onto the day after Horatio's interview. But the exact date doesn't appear in the case file at all. I reckon the police officer from the auction probably knows it. Okay. I'll take a look. Fine. Don't, don't touch anything. I was only looking. Yeah. That may well be the case. But I can't watch the shop and fill in this competition at the same time. So in the meantime, just keep your wandering fingers to yourself. Oh. You could just put it down while there's a customer in the shop. Oh, so you're planning to buy something now, are you? Yeah. Uh. Maybe. Just leave everything alone until I'm done. Okay, fine. He's filling in a competition form. All right, can we ask him about that? Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm entering a competition in this kid's magazine. The grand prize is a lifetime supply of fish and chips. That's a weird what prize. What does a lifetime supply of fish and chips even look like? I don't know. I don't even like fish. <laughs> but I can't resist a competition. Right. What do you have to do? It's for kids, really. You need to name your favourite chip toppings. How many have you got so far? Two. Salt and vinegar. Wow. Does that count as That's two? That's one, mate. I'm not sure, but I need at least six more and my mind's gone blank. In my day, I used to enjoy a nice bit of tripe on my chips. Ugh. I don't know what kids today are into. You're the youngest person I've seen in here by about 40 <laughs> years. Can you remember any? Yeah. The only time I ever had fish and chips was on holiday. I'll have a think and see if I can remember any. Alright, I mean, there's like... <clears throat> it's like mushy peas. Bye. See ya. Curry sauce some people put on. Um, let's, uh, let's look at our, our thing. How are we going to find that? Wow, we've suddenly got a lot to do. Locate the interview cassette, cast out on the DNA evidence, disprove the murder weapon evidence, find out the exact date of the murder. Remember chip to toppings from holiday for a competition. That could be dream related. Yeah, look. Dream box, holiday related. Okay. Do we have anything holiday related yet? I don't think we do, do we? No, so we might have to figure that out as well. Yeah, we've suddenly got quite a lot to do. Um, let's talk to this officer and see if we can find out the date anyway. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello indeed. Um, so you won't tell me the date of the murder? So you won't tell me the date of the murder? Nope, that case is closed, unless you can prove otherwise. Ah, okay, we've got to do all that first. Bye. See ya. So, we, we're back to the, the vase. It was stolen from Fig Hall and has a rolled up piece of canvas inside. I need to find something long but soft to get it out with. Something long but soft. I, I'm pretty sure we don't have whatever that is yet. So we might have to do a bit of exploration to try and find that. Something long but soft. We haven't done an awful lot at Fig Hall, so there, there could be something around here. Maybe something in the cafe? Something long but soft. Uh, got a salad bar. Nothing there. Trays? Can we look at the trays? A veritable luncheon graveyard. No, okay. Hmm. We've suddenly got a lot to do, but, but no real sort of direction of where we're going. Um... I mean, the village fate might be a good idea. Something long, but I mean, unless it's something we've got a win from Goosey Wallop, something like that. 
It's possible, right? Something long, but what is this? As if I didn't have enough nightmares already. That is hideous. A beautiful lace doily. Can we take any the of this stuff? The sign says, ask me about hair of the dog. <laughs> That's one of Tool Story Games' other games. I don't need it. Can we... As if I didn't have enough nightmares already. What's this? Oh, a rubber band ball. That might be useful. If I ever need a rubber band, I'm sure one will make itself available in due course. Okay, fine. And we don't want the... There's no way I'm putting that in my <laughs> dream box. Well, you never know. I mean, come on. Um, can we use... Can we do anything in the dream as it is? That, that is... Right, okay, maybe there's some stuff in here, actually. Now that it's completely unattended. Ooh, there's a stuffed pigeon. Can we take that? It's for the auction. Yeah, but the auction's done. There's nobody here. We could just steal everything, right? Handcuffs on the floor, but we don't seem to be able to actually interact with that. Seized property. Can we look in there? It's a bunch of offensive weapons. What makes them offensive? Or as in offensive as in, you know, you can use them offensively. As in, you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm getting off track. Candy floss. Can we do anything mm, with this? Sweet clouds. Can we... I don't have any money. Okay, we need money for that. It's a throwing game. It's a cheap knockoff of another game. Can we... I'd rather not. The plants look like they've been through enough already. Okay, fine. Um, hmm, okay, we're, we're, um... Hmm. We are a little bit. I mean, we're not... We're not struggling, but let's, uh, let's have a look at our thing again. Maybe we've got to do something in the dream. Locate the interview cassette. We can't. So the DNA evidence is going to be the family tree. The murder weapon evidence, that's going to be slightly trickier, I think, isn't it? Um, find out the exact date. We need to do those two to get that. Remember the chip to toppings is going to be related to the... The dream box. Hmm. Okay, we might have to start talking to people, I guess. See if there's any clues from that. Oh, look. What happened to you? Wow. She's what the one who slipped, I guess. That idiot at the goose who wallop stall dropped a ruddy grey mallet on me. <laughs> Maybe he thought you were a goose. I used to be a champion walloper in my day. I went down to the fay to show that goose what for. But I've dropped my purse. I slipped in the mud, and the lights went out. <laughs> Bloody steward. I mean, that's, uh... <laughs> the steward said not to sue him. The steward said not to sue him. I bet he did, little upstart. I think he's at least 50 years old. Yeah. I knew him when he was in nappies. <laughs> did he you? Was a silly little prat then, and he's an even bigger prat now. <laughs> Lovely. I'll tell him not to get his hopes up. Yeah, okay. What money did you drop? What money did you drop? Not a lot. Just a bit of brass. Brass? You know, pound coins. I wouldn't mind betting ah. the tits have picked most of it up by now. I should sue that steward, you know. Parading around like Timmy Bloody Mallet. <laughs> right. So that would have been the clue to tell us that the pound coin was made from brass, but we, we sort of figured that out on our own in the end. Anything at Lucy's house? This this is normally a pretty good place to find crap, right? And by crap, I mean useful stuff. Um, can we open this up yet? It's my mum's small rod for fishing on the go. Okay. It's locked away. All right, so this is all locked, and we, we definitely don't have a key or anything, do we? Can we maybe grab, like, the walking stick or something? I don't need a walking stick yet, and it's too wide to fit into the vase. Okay. It's not raining, and it's too wide to fit into the vase. Right, so she's mentioning things in the house being too wide for the, for the vase, which makes me think what we need might be here. They're not strong enough to get anything out of the vase. Okay, interesting. Um, <clears throat> we've got coal. What did, can, have we tried taking the coal before? I don't need any coal. We don't need any coal. Uh, mold, chimney breast, matches, candle. We've got fire irons, maybe. I wonder if the poker will fit in the vase. I'll need uh, to wrap it in something soft, though. Okay, we need to wrap it in something soft. Fine, so it looks like we can maybe use the poker, but we need something to wrap it in. 
Can we grab this other thing? I don't need any more metal implements. No, okay, we don't. Can we like... No, okay. I wondered if we could like use the pyjamas to wrap it in, but I guess not. So probably like tissue or, or something like that. Oh, hang on. Would the photo album show something about a holiday? Oh, precious memories. Let's have a look. I think they're just like these um, guys make video games. Takes all sorts, I suppose. These are like the the backers, right? So, but what I'm looking for specifically is if there is anything to do with a holiday in here, which I don't think there actually is. What a lovely trip down memory lane. Fine. What's what's this about? It's my mother hunting a mole with a blunderbuss. Okay, I'm, I'm looking specifically for things that could be from a holiday. It's my mother fly fishing in Scotland. Mm, okay, anything soft in here? I mean, like a, a cloth or something like that? I'm trying to think if we've seen anything like that now. I'm not sure we have. Maybe upstairs in the bathroom, maybe there's like a towel or a flannel or something we can use. Uh, there is this towel, maybe. Nah, it's well, Mankey. I'm damp. Okay, it's Mankey and damp, so... Uh, I don't suppose we can... It's too thick to fit into the vase. Right, we need something even smaller. We've got, like, plasters and stuff here. Dental floss. Cotton buds. I mean, I don't suppose we need a plaster. I don't need any more plasters. No, okay, fine. Um... Let's um, just try, I don't know. I don't need to poke that. No, okay. <laughs> I didn't think, oh wait, hang on, what was that on the shelf? Tea lights, all right, it's not gonna be that. Let's head this way. Um, I mean, I'm not really seeing anything like. It feels nice when I get in and out of bed. Thanks, I didn't actually click on, oh, by the way, ages ago, I was told you can talk to the lamp. It's just a lamp, it can't talk. <laughs> I am a powerful demonic force. Pardon? <laughs> I reckon I've earned my school badge now. Oh, we got a, Oh, we got a badge! I earned this badge for talking to a demonic lamp. I earned this badge for hunting Easter eggs. Nice! Nice! Ah, oh, I've been meaning to try and get badges for ages. Right, um... We still need... Some sort of cloth or something. Maybe it isn't here? Uh, let's try just everywhere, I guess. Figgington Public Library. I very much doubt there's going to be anything helpful here. But you never know. Uh, stamp, mug, books. I don't think there's going to be anything here. No, it doesn't look like it. Um... I'm feeling fickle just because, like I said before, there's there's nothing we've really done here. Also, can we look it's at this? It's full of plastic logs. Can we can we like look specifically? I guess it stands for fig, or maybe flammable. Because we've got to try and disprove the the murder weapon, right? What are all these things? I suppose I might as well take a. Oh look, look it's the fireplace one. According to the plaque. This photo's almost 40 years old. There's the family tree. It looks like there used to be a family tree hanging on the wall 40 years ago. It's too okay. small to make out on the photograph, though. I wonder if anyone <gasps> knows what happened to the original. The thing is still there. Hang on a minute. There's the sword in the chimney, complete with the same dried blood spatter. So it can't have been the murder if weapon. This photo is really 40 years old. What's it doing there 30 years before he even hid it? Exactly. Unless it was actually hidden there decades before. And isn't the murder weapon at all? Okay, we might have disproved it. At least, it. not for this murder anyway. Yeah, definitely another murder. I wonder murder. why someone hid a sword up there in the first place. I should go and tell the police officer about this. Yeah, we should. Um, okay, can we take that? I wonder if anyone would notice if I took this. I doubt it. Yep. <laughs> Oh. Plus, I have an alarm switch right under the counter. And how would the receptionist does a mean pile driver? <laughs> you can pick up a promotional pack for members at reception. I think there are some postcards in there. Oh, Thanks. okay. 
promotional pack. Where's that? Guides to Fig Hall. Is it that thing? I don't need one. No. Okay. Do you have a set of postcards for members? Ah, oh, here we go. Oh yes. And not only that, I'll even throw in a free branded tote bag. Ah. Promotional literature from our specially selected third-party partners. Joy. Lovely. Everyone know, loves right? that, right? Here you go. Thanks. Yeah. Let me take that visitor pass too. I recognise you anyway. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay, so it's got some postcards and promotional junk in it. I'll take them out. Lovely bit of promotional junk. Right, the postcards. One of them shows the sword stuck up the fireplace. Nice. And the other shows the Fig Brothers dueling forty years ago. Cool. The joy of crabs. The joy of crabs. Crabbing is an inspired pastime enjoyed for generations. Make the most of your trip to the seaside by luring crabs into a bucket with rashes of juicy, full-flavoured prime bat bacon. Does that work? Create succulent memories with your family this summer. Created by the Guild of Bacon Marketeers. <laughs> of course. All right, fine. Of course it is. Um, right. Let's go back to the town centre. And we will show these postcards here look here you go this photo was taken 40 years ago you can clearly see the bloodstained sword in the fireplace and the other photo shows the two brothers dueling when they were younger yeah that's likely when the sword got covered in fergus's blood okay i'll buy that nice fair dues you're not at all bad at this no we're pretty good no, at this anything about the dna yet not yet i'm working on not it not yet but what i wanted to try is seeing if we could use this on this good plan. I don't plan to do any toting anyway. We can! Right. This is going to take some serious care. I hope it's not just a receipt in there. It's going to be the family okay. tree. Surely. Here goes. Don't look. <laughs> oh, God. Hi. Oops. Oh, well. Let's see what we've got. I this that. is it. The big family tree. Why on earth did my mum nick all this stuff? That's going to be the really golden worry question. About her sometimes. I can see Horatio and Fergus right at the bottom of the tree, but there's oh. another name right next to Fergus. So they did have another sibling. It's gone. I can just make out the words A fig, but the rest has been torn off. I guess they were even more of a black sheep than Horatio. It's got to be the mum. I should show this to the police officer right away. It's got to be the mum, surely. It's got to be. Hey, look at this. According to this family tree, Fergus and Horatio had another sibling with the initial A. The hair sample could have come from them. Yep. Hmm. That does cast doubt on the DNA evidence. Where are they now? Don't know. Uh, I don't know. No one's told me anything about them. Could be our mum, though. Now will you tell me the date of the murder? Now will you tell me the date of the murder? Okay, fair enough. Nice. The murder took place ten years ago this year. Yeah, I know that already. Yeah. All right, keep your massive hair on. I mean, you're not going to tell Did us... Did you know that the murder took place on the night the theme park was due to open? Ah. Yeah, I discovered that earlier What too. date was that? Well, excuse me, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> so the exact date was... What? Oh, yeah. Sometime in June. Oh, come the on. 26th, I think. Okay, thanks. All right, so it might be the 27th of June. Fine. We're making good progress here. We've chipped off a lot of things on here. We might well get the cassette shortly as well, but we are out of time for now. So, guys, uh, we'll do that in the next one. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nates, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, and Coomadin, and I'll see you next time.